iron in the soul. What's up, YouTube? This is Iron and Soul. Back today with another very important message. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video, leave a comment, let me know, stick with my content. In addition to that, please feel free to follow me over on Instagram at the King of Bells. It will be greatly appreciated. Let's get to work, man. Let's follow up my talk from last night. Well, I revisited a very important message, one that you all have liked and enjoyed so far, I suppose. Pushing close to 3,000 views with 2,500. I think I get to 3K or more in the next um, 12, 12 hours or so, if not more. And so I think an appropriate follow-up to that video will be the topic tonight. And that is death and destruction hide behind lust. Let's dive a little deeper, man. You know, this whole issue of sex, lust, soul ties, that is so multi-layered. And I re believe it's my responsibility to teach those layers, break it down piece by piece. Again, I'm not gonna attempt to give everything in one video. Um, I could sit down and do a two hour live on this and that's helpful from time to time. You know, that's something I will consider. But I feel in the meantime, is wise for me to take these topics and to break them into 10, 15 minute sections. We can really process this information, reflect, think, and most importantly, make some decisions to change our ways and to make some better decisions. Um, you know, I've talked about before the gates, and that's a very important concept, referring to your eyes being your eye gates. We can talk about the ear gates as well as your mouth. And so you think about what you see with your eyes, what you hear with your ears and your conversation, that all gives access to your soul, your spirit as a man. And this is how soul ties are created between a man and a woman. You know, we have that bond, that connection. And once you add that sex, it's a very powerful human emotion. In fact, right now, you know, I'm reading through Think and Go Rich. I'm about... Uh, 300 plus pages into it. I should be done with that book shortly. And I was just reading um, a section recently in that book where he talked about the emotion of sex and how it's one of the most powerful human emotions that we have as people. And how a lot of men, you guys probably read this book too, are motivated by the opposite sex to pursue um, excellence, to pursue wealth, influence, status, improving our looks. You know, people say this for themselves and that, that may be true to a degree. Um, but if you are an honest men, a lot of men, not saying you necessarily, but a lot of men uh, make these improvements in terms of how they look, of course, <laughs> putting on cologne, clothing. You're not doing this to get the attention of a man. <laughs> Let's just be clear on that. Now, you may do it because you have a level of self-respect and pride, and that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. But if we're honest, you know, I know me, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. When I was single, I was trying to uh, attract a mate, right? I wanted a woman. I was saying a lot to you, so I kept my hair cut. I kept myself in the gym. I worked. I had cologne on. Why? Because I wanted to have a beautiful woman become a part of my life. And I was fortunate enough to get that in my wife close to 10 years ago. You know, so you say, Aaron, why are you talking about this? That's totally fine and healthy. That's why. You know, and I want to make this clear that there is a distinction with natural desire, which is healthy, versus lust. We're not going to the extreme. We're, in other words, we're not demonizing the natural attraction a man has towards a woman. We're not going to the extreme because that extreme leads to confusion in the mind. And it leads to a level of cognitive dissonance that a lot of people go through in an attempt to be righteous. So we're not demonizing. You're still a man. Okay. When you see a beautiful woman, a nice figure, and you're attracted to that, you should be. Okay. Let me just put that out there as your big brother. We're not going to sit here and play games. Okay. Um, however, there's a distinction between that and lust when you just cross that line and you now are making decisions <clears throat> that can have a negative impact on your life from a financial perspective, as well as um, psychological, spiritual, you know, you can get to a place where you lose money dealing with the wrong types of women. And some of you men have been down that path of your honest men. Psychological, you get into a place of deep depression, sadness, and a lot of guys go through this over a female. Nothing new. You know, and it doesn't make you weak. You know, a lot of guys have been there. And if you haven't been there, you will at some point probably. And the worst case scenario can lead to a premature death. A lot of men have been backdoored, is the word we use, to describe when a man 
loses his life when he's with a female who he thinks is on the side. And so why is this video such an important follow-up to the topic from yesterday? We talked about lust and how this is your battle for life. Understanding this on a deeper level in terms of spiritual warfare, what we have to understand is behind that lust, that soul tie, that sexual experience, that sexual pleasure with the wrong type of woman is a very real, listen to this, spirit, curse of death and destruction. I want you guys to clearly understand this, guys. This is real. And this happens to a lot of men. See, this is how the devil gets people. This is, I guess, guys in particular. He knows like we like them women. Okay? So what he does is, is he hides behind them. And this is not saying all women, by the way. This is not vilifying all women. We talk about the wrong types of women. Let me clarify that. Because some of you guys will hear that and think, okay, honest soul is vilifying women. Which is, honestly, excuse me, language is stupid. Because I have a wife and I got two daughters. So that's just dumb. That's clearly not what I'm saying. But when it's the wrong type of women, let me put that out there. They can ruin your life. The, the biblical word is the strange woman, which is a woman who's foreign to the concepts of the most high. Jezebel is a term that's used a lot. Um, you know, there's a lot of terminology that I won't use that you men use. And you know what I'm talking about. When you describe it, a woman that you don't have respect for, that you think lacks more fiber or not even think that, you know, it's not a faithful woman, a woman who has been with a lot of guys that happens, you know, when you're dealing with a woman like that. You need to understand that behind a woman like that is a very real demon. I want you to really begin to process that. And I want you to begin to internalize that. Think about that, guys. When you get involved with a woman like that, understand, sir, you are opening yourself up to a very dark spirit of death and destruction. And you guys who are listening to this talk, you men, I know you can talk about this. I know you guys. So you know what? I'm I've been down that path. <laughs> I'm not here to judge you. Out of the thousands of men who hear this video, you know, I'll be getting one to 2,000 views of the last um, 10, 15 videos or so. So I'm guessing this will be about the same. You guys who hear this can testify. You say, you know what? I, you're right, man. I lost money. That's around the wrong women. Uh, some of you guys may have lost a spouse. Very serious. You may have uh, lost a job. You know, there is some type of death when you're with the wrong woman. So that sexual pleasure when you're in that room and y'all having a good time and you know what? And you just, in your mind, I know, hey, we're men. <laughs> you want that? What we don't want is the aftermath of that. You know what I mean? You know, when 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 your wife tells you she don't want to be with you no more, when that reality clicks in, when you, you get fired at your job for, you know, messing around with women and you're gone, you lose your income. When you are, you know, in therapy for deep depression Battling suicidal thoughts. I mean, this is the stuff that happens that no one talks about. You know, battling some real serious mental um, issues because of a connection to the wrong type of woman. And of course, talk about death and destruction. The obvious um, manifestation of that is physical death. <laughs> there, are, there are a lot of men in the graveyard, okay, that left this earth messing with the wrong type of woman. I mean, history, we, we would be here all night if we was to go back and talk about that. Guys who have lost their lives, been backdoor, been murdered in cold blood over a female. Yeah, this is making this is nothing new. Guys, this has been happening since the beginning of the time. So you think about the word destruction. Webster defines destruction as the action or the process of destroying something. Ruin. So when you're dealing with this lust and destruction and deaf spirit. This is going to ruin something in your life. Let's just park right there for a second. This is most certainly going to ruin something. Whether it be your financial gain, again, I'm repeating myself, your spiritual gains, all gains. You think about gains, right? Like lifting weights and you get those gains, you increase your muscle mass, your PR goes up on your bench and your deadlift and your squats and you get your gains, right? You know how bad it feels to lose those? You guys who are, who are really into fitness, you get those gains and you lose them. This is what happens when you mess with the wrong women. You lose your gains. 
And gains here is not referring to just your physical body, which can be that too. But we're talking about your financial gains, your spiritual gains, your economical gains. All of this work you've done. Listen to me, guys. Listen to your big brother. All of this work you've done to get that money. I'm going to talk to you. I want you to really process this. To get that money, to get that connection to God, spiritual, to get that physical body you have, to gain the knowledge and to get the resources and the influence that you have had to fight for. Because no one's going to get it to you. You got to fight for that. You know, I know that like you know that. If you got it, you fall for it. So you fall for that. And here comes that woman, boy, you know, <laughs> looking good, heels on, smelling good, hair done. You know what I mean? And she can get them gains right from you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come get that. Come take that, that wealth and resources right out your hand. All of that war and wisdom and wealth that you had to accumulate through fighting. That woman can come get that. You know, all W's. Wisdom helps you for the war. The war leads to the wealth. And that wealth leads you to the right woman. Okay? But what often happens with this is that you, you get that wisdom, the knowledge, which is why you guys watch my videos, other content creators, of course, will give you that first piece of this process, that wisdom, that game, those jewels you talk about, right? This is what this video is all about. Give you that wisdom. And from that wisdom, we go to war, right? Because whatever I say in these videos, you got to go to war and do something about it. Other than that, it's just talk. You know what I mean? So you go to war with, with the knowledge and the, and the wisdom you have. And so you take the wisdom, you go to war, and you gain that wealth. And when you do those three properly, that's going to attract women, guaranteed. You know, they can't help it. You know, a woman, uh, I said, I think I said this just recently, you know, when a woman sees a man with any level of status and resources, it's like you when you see a good looking woman that has a nice body with some fitting clothes on. Okay. So what goes through your mind is, I mean, I'm talking to you like we're talking as men. When we see a woman with a pretty dress on, you know, body right, hair done, pretty, smelling good, you dig? You know what's going through your mind when you see that? That's what's going through a woman's mind when she sees you and you own something. You ain't got to be the best looking guy. But if you got some status behind you and a little wealth and you, and you own something, they gravitate to that. That's just the way it is. And we can't be mad at women about that. We can't be mad at women about that anymore than we be mad at a man for wanting a pretty woman. That's just the way the game goes. That's the way it's been going for a long time. That's, just, that's life. That's the way it is. And that's all fine in a healthy context. The problem is when you get the wrong type of woman. That's what we're talking about. The wealth, the wisdom, I'm sorry, the wisdom, the war, the wealth, and the woman is a proper order. The only problem is when that fourth one, the woman, is the wrong one. And that's when you run into this destruction of deaf spirit. Is this clear? So from a spiritual warfare perspective now, the spirit of destruction works with other spirits. The a prince of destruction works along with the prince of lust. So the prince of destruction works with the prince of lust. So that destruction demon is working in partnership with lust to come in and do what? what we talk about, guys, that spirit of poverty, to mess your finances up, that mental illness destroyed to mess your mind up. That goes back to that word destruction, right? What does it mean? Ruin. So that spirit hides behind lust, hides behind that beautiful young woman, you know, that beautiful older woman, whoever it is, hides behind that woman, right? And comes in with that destruction spirit or ruin to destroy your finances, to work on your mind, mess your mind all up. Because some of you guys right now, this is not a judgment, just an observation. Your mind may be messed up because this woman. This happens all the time with guys. You guys know I know this. I've, I've talked to hundreds of guys. And I'm not talking about just on the phone for the last three years or so. I'm talking about prior to so. You guys know my history. I sat down and worked with men for close to 10 years straight. So you're talking to a guy who has done this for close to 13, 14 years. Talking to men. And a lot of men, from what I know, this is what I know. A lot of men, let's talk about it, got on drugs, messing with the wrong woman. Lose some of their money, messing with the wrong woman. Some guys lose their lives, messing with the wrong woman. Mess their families up. I've seen all this stuff. You know, and, and these spirits work with the spirits we talked about just recently, and that is the spirit of Jezebel and Ahab, which have the goal to destroy the family. That's the objective of Jezebel and Ahab. And they work very cl closely with Asherah. I might have a whole video on that. That's coming soon. I'm researching that right now, guys. Studying it. Giving you guys content on that. 
in this spirit, which was an ancient goddess in the ancient worlds, they worshiped this spirit, right? Or this um, idol. And it led to a lot of ritual prostitution, soul ties, and really messed a lot of the ancient Hebrews up. And so I'll give you that piece briefly right now, but I'm going to go into detail with that in a full length video. And so there, what am I saying? There, there is a partnership here between all of these spirits and idols and demons that have a goal to bring the man down. And so we have this idol worship. Check this out. You know what I'm saying? Property, destroying a family, mental illness, breaking down the family, curses, all this stuff. How is it getting to your life, guys? How are all these demons getting there? You guessed it. Through your lust. So when you as a man can gain control over that, you are keeping a lot of demons out your life, man. All those spirits are right there, man, just waiting around your house to destroy you. So I want you to picture, picture some very real demons. I want you to get this. Right? They're pressed to five demons as, as persons without individuals without a body. So just imagine some individuals outside your home. I want you to get this. With the desire to hurt you, to destroy you. And they get in through that woman. And this brings a lot of men down. A lot of guys, you know what I mean? Even athletes. Stop playing right. You got some guys in the NBA right now, I ain't playing the same. Mess around with the wrong women. Mess their career up in sports. Mess their finances up in business. Tiger Woods can hit a ball straight for, for a while when all the scandals came out. He was messed up. Wow. All those, I don't care who you are, Tiger Woods or not, those demons latch on to you and you're never the same. The same can be said from Russell Wilson. Some people take offense to that, but that's just my honest opinion. <laughs> James Hart's not playing good this year. Part of that, in my opinion, is his overindulgence with those women. It brings you down as a man. You lose your focus, your drive, and you are not on your game as you normally are. So, guys, I hope this video is of value to you. Thanks for listening. God bless. Peace.